Hi guys, it's Danielle and today it's time for another book haul. So this is going to be basically just a collection of books that I have received over the past couple of months. We've got books that I received for Christmas, uh, books that I've received from publishers in the last pretty much just this month actually and also a couple of books that I bought with a gift card from Christmas. So yeah, with that I guess we'll just jump straight into it because there are a few books here so we don't want to be here all day. So I'll start with books that I've received from publishers. The first one I've actually already read and I did really enjoy it and it was Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. This is just a like graphic novel comic book um, about these two boys who become friends and slowly start to fall in love and it's really really cute. The artwork is really cute as well and yeah I just I just really enjoyed this one. This one was also sent to me from Hachette Australia so thank you so much Hachette. I really enjoyed this one so I can't wait to see where the story goes in the next volumes. Next we have a few arcs that have been sent to me. The first two um, were both sent to me from Pan Macmillan Australia. The first one is What I Like About Me by Jenna... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I'm not even going to try and say it because I will probably butcher it. But um, this is a Love Oz YA book and I'm really 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 keen to read this one I think it'll be a really cute but also heartwarming read about body positivity and love and I'm just very very excited for it Pen McMillan also sent me The Secret Runners of New York by Matthew Riley I've heard of Matthew Riley like he's one of those names that you just kind of know of but without even needing to read any of these books um, I have no idea what this one is about. And the last one that I received from publishers, this one was sent to me from Bloomsbury and it is What Mama Left Me by Renee Watson. Again, this is an arc. The cover is stunning as well. So pretty. I haven't heard of this one. I'm not really sure what it's about. It's really, really short though. So I could probably fly through it. Thank you, Bloomsbury. The next couple of books I technically bought myself but I bought with a gift of card so technically I didn't actually buy them with my own money so the first book is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare this is the like special collector's edition I've got each collector's edition in this series so I obviously had to get this one I have just finished reading this book and it was everything and I'm obsessed and I loved it and it gets I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I will be reviewing this book on my blog, um, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be hard to review because just oh, so many feelings. I absolutely loved it and I am complete and utter trash for Cassandra Clare and the Shadowhunter world. Literally, she can give me 50 more books in this world and I will be super, super happy with that. Like, I will be there buying each book as soon as it comes out. I'm, I'm trash. I love it. Love it. I just, I'm just, I'm trash. And the second book that I bought with my gift card was Check Please by Ngozi Gukazu. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly and I apologize if I didn't. Um, this one I'd seen a few people talk about and it looks really, really cute. And the artwork looks really, really pretty. I'm just, I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. It just looks like it'll be a super cute and fun read and it'll just make me smile and yeah so looking forward to picking that one up now moving on to the rest of the books um the rest of the books i got for christmas i had made a wish list for christmas of books that i was interested in receiving if my parents or my brother wanted to get me any books they could kind of choose from this list of books and you know at least I would be getting books that I really wanted. So my brother ended up buying literally every single book on the list except for one because one was out of stock but he literally bought every single book on the list. I had about nine books on the list so 
<laughs> I'm extremely grateful that he got all of these books for me but I was not expecting it and I was just like I, <laughs> I was just kind of in shock I kind of still am because I was not expecting to get every single book and he was like well why did you put them all on your list and I was like it was more of a list that you can pick like a couple of books from not literally get me every single book like but anyway <laughs> so yeah my brother bought me all of these books for Christmas the first one is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover I mean I couldn't I, I'm still I still can't help it I still need to read Colleen Hoover's books I just I'm wanting to see if this one is good her last book which was Without Merit I read and didn't really enjoy so I'm very intrigued to see if I will enjoy this one if I don't enjoy it it's probably gonna be the, like the last book that I pick up from her possibly we'll see how we go the next book is another book by Alice Oseman it is Radio Silence I I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book and I know so many people absolutely love it. I read Solitaire forever ago, like years ago by her and I didn't really enjoy it. I did enjoy Heartstopper and I'm hoping that I enjoy this one as well. Next up we have a book that I have already read. Woohoo! The A Darker Shade of Magic Collector's Edition by V.E. Schwab. I mean... I couldn't I, I had to I had to do it like I couldn't not have this book in my collection it's so pretty it's also got artwork it's one of my favorite series I absolutely love it and so when they came out with collected edition I just I just had to get my hands on one next up we have the kiss quotient quote I probably said that wrong actually. I don't think I've ever actually said that word aloud. Is it quotient? Quotient? Or quotient? I don't know. By Helen Hoang. This I've heard amazing things about. Everyone absolutely loved this book. Like it was so hyped on Twitter last year and I was so intrigued and I really wanted to get my hands on it but I just didn't get around to reading it because I was trying to focus on books that I already owned. But I am super, super keen to pick this one up. I'm all for new adult romances, so this one I will pick up when I'm in the mood for something a little bit steamy. Um, but yeah, again, I have heard amazing things about this book, and so I am very, very keen to pick this one up. The next book was actually the first book that I read this year, and I loved it. I gave it five stars. I've had a pretty damn good reading year so far. I've read three books so far, given two five stars, one four stars. So, hallelujah. We're doing so much better than we did last year. I didn't give a book a five star rating until March. So, and that book is Sadie by Courtney Summers. I listened to the audiobook of this one and absolutely loved it. It's probably my favorite audiobook that I've ever listened to. It's so good. It's got sound effects and multiple narrators. It has like phone calls and radio interviews and like music and it's honestly amazing. It's It was so entertaining and so intriguing and I just, I really, really enjoyed this one and I highly recommend picking it up, especially the audiobook. I don't know if I would have enjoyed it if I just read the physical copy. So I'm so glad that I ended up listening to it on audio because again, it was amazing and definitely recommend picking it up. You will not regret it, trust me. The next book is again, another book that I have already read, but the rest of the books I have in hardcover and I don't have this finished copy yet. So I wanted to get a hardcover and finished copy because I have the ARC. It is Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco, one of my favourite series ever. I think I've definitely mentioned how much I love this series and again if you haven't do check out the audiobooks for this one because they are so good and so entertaining and I loved them. And the last few books are actually a bunch of graphic novels as well. I've been 
really wanting to get into more graphic novels because I find that they're they're so much fun and they're just so quick and easy to read that if you're like in between big books or you just want to pick something up that's going to be cute and light, fluffy, easy to read, then graphic novels are just the way to go. So I got a few for Christmas as well. <clears throat> the first one is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. I've heard really, really amazing things about this book. And the artwork, again, is so pretty and colourful and just lovely. So I'm really, really excited to pick this one up. It looks adorable. And the last two are both by Katie O'Neill. The first one is Aquicorn Cove. And I have actually read this one. I read this one, I think, Christmas night because I couldn't help it. <laughs> because it just looks so cute. Like, I mean... The artwork is actually so stunning in this book. I'm actually obsessed. Like, I love the style. It's beautiful and so cute. This book was adorable. It's a book that I'll probably end up reading to my kids whenever I have kids in the future. It was just so cute and it talked about um, protecting like, our coral reefs and it was just, it was so cute. And I also got the Tea Dragon Society obviously also by Katie O'Neill. This, this book is huge. I mean, like, this is like a normal size book. This one's huge. Again, I just, I absolutely love her, like, art style. I think it's so cute. And so, like, I just had to get it. They're also super, super diverse. I've heard, again, I've heard amazing things about this book. I think her most well-known book is Princess, Princess Ever After, which I don't own yet, but, um, yeah. I'm pretty happy that I've got these two. I just, I can't get over the artwork. It's just so pretty and just... Anyway, they are all the books that I have hauled in the last couple of months. Thank you to all the publishers and my brother and my parents for getting me a gift card. Thankfully, my TBR has not gone back over 100 after getting all of these books let me know if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts were let me know if you got any books for christmas and what they were but yeah i guess that's all for this video today and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye